we recall love and marriage in the month of May, the harvest of June, and the grogginess of early morning. It's the start of four weeks of poets here on the 357 by William E. Spear. Hello, my name is William Spear, and this is our new series titled A Force of Poets. First up is Helen Hunt Jackson. Jackson was born in Amherst, Massachusetts in 1830. She published five collections of poetry, including Verses in 1870 and Easter Bells in 1884. Her works were also released under the pseudonyms of H.H., Rip Van Winkle, and Saxa Holm. In 1881, two years after hearing a speech by Chief Standing Bear, Jackson wrote A Century of Dishonor, an expose of crimes against Native Americans, which led to the founding of the Indian Rights Association. Our episode focuses on three poems. The first is May, the second is June, and the last is Morn, as in the early part of the day. From a force of poets, Helen Hunt Jackson. May. O month, when they who love must love and wed. Were one to go to worlds where May is not, and seek to tell the memories he had brought from earth to thee, what were most fitly said? I know not if the rosy shower shed from apple boughs, or if the soft green rot in fields, or if the robin's call be fraught the most with thy delight. Perhaps they read, the best who in the sacred time did say, Thou wert the sacred month unto the old. No blossom blooms upon thy brightest day, so subtly sweet as memories which unfold, in aged hearts which in thy sunshine lie, to sun themselves once more before they die. Hunt's next poem is titled, June, O month whose promise and fulfillment blend, and burst in one. It seems the earth can store in all her roomy house no treasure more. Of all her wealth, no farthing have to spend on fruit, when once the stintless flowering end. And yet, no tiniest flower shall fall before it hath made ready, at its hidden core, its tithe of seed, which we may count and tend till harvest. Joy of blossomed love for thee seems that no fairer thing can yet have birth. No room is left for deeper ecstasy. Watch well, if seeds grow strong, to scatter free germs for thy future summers on the earth. A joy which is but joy soon comes to dearth. And the third and final offering from Hunt is Mourn. In what a strange bewilderment do we awake each morn from out the brief night's sleep our struggling consciousness doth grope and creep its slow way back as if it could not free itself from bonds unseen then memory like sudden light outflashes from its deep the joy or grief which it had last to keep for us and by the joy or grief we see the new day dawneth like the yesterday we are unchanged, our life the same we knew before. I wonder if this is why we wake from death's short sleep, to struggle through a brief bewilderment and in dismay, behold our life unto old life true. You've just listened to Helen Hunt Jackson from A Force of Poets. Theme music is through the courtesy of Cube Sounds at Pixabay. The 357 is written and produced by William Spear. Thank you for listening.